Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. How are you today? Look at this deliciousness. Got my sweet tea that I make. I have, this is just a can of Campbell's tomato soup and I just, um, I use coconut milk and I put just a little bit of butter, use a whisk, get it nice and smooth. And then when it's pretty much done, I just put some coarse black pepper. And then this is a grilled ham and cheese. Um, I made it on Italian white bread and I have the rest of my tavern ham. It's boar's head tavern ham that I heated up in a frying pan. And then the cheese is, I have two slices of provolone cheese and then I have three slices of smoked Gouda cheese. It smells wonderful. I'm hungry. Let's get our thumbnail and then we're going to eat. I wonder if I should, I don't know how I'm going to be able to lift this up. Hold on. Let's see if we can get our thumbnail. See, it's hard to do with the soup. Look at that. Look at this. Wait, let me try to do it this way. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that grilled cheese. Grilled ham and cheese. Oh my lord. So we got our tomato soup. Hopefully it did a thumbnail. I'm going to give you guys some soup. Go in and have yourself a bite. Be careful, it's hot. Mmm, tomato soup. And then, go on and have yourself a bite of this. Look at that girl. Mm-mm-mm. I hate when my hands are messy and I don't want to touch my seat. Let's hope I can eat without getting, usually if I have something with like, excuse me, tomato. I'll eat this one first because this one's a little smushed. Usually if I'm eating something with like tomato sauce, anything red, I try to wear something dark. <laughs> that way if I spill some on myself, look at that. So today is Monday, August 14th. And I do dip. I used to be big time into like crackers. I would like load my soup up with crackers, but I haven't been doing that lately. The older I get, now I will do it with like chicken corn soup. I still do it, but I don't load it up like I used to. Let me just take this in. Pure heaven. Man, oh man. Love playing with empty uh, um, paper towel rolls.
this is so good. Yeah, I just figured I'd use the rest of my ham. Mm -mm -mm. That provolone and the smoked gouda just takes it to a whole nother level. Wonderful. But yeah, I ended up I ended up making another stromboli. Cause the first one I made that day tasted so good. Plus, I still had all these ingredients. I had all the ingredients except for ham. So this was the second batch of ham. This was what was left over from that second batch of ham I got. The second, that second time I made the stromboli, I stuffed it. I might have stuffed it a little bit too much, but it was tasty. Um, it ended up being a little wider than my first one. And this time I, I cooked it on four hundred degrees. I had the oven at 400 and I decided not to do the egg wash this time. I just did butter again and it got per the color got perfect. Perfect. Oh, I think I have a picture. This is so good. <laughs> this is a little hard to do with my hands. <clears throat> my crummy hands from my... Somewhere on... Here it is. Make sure special's not in back of me. So this is the... That was the second one I made. I don't know how well it's going to show up though. I don't have autofocus on. It's not going to get clear, clear. Hopefully you can see. So yeah, in the future, um, I think I'm going to cook it at 400 again and I just like I rubbed butter on it again but I think it turned out perfect like the color it was really good so I just used up all the ham with this grilled ham and cheese and I just used up all the smoked Gouda cheese. I still have some pepperoni left. Um, and I still have another frozen pizza dough and I still have about A half to three quarters of fresh mozzarella so I may 
make a pizza, homemade pizza with pepperoni. It's kind of what I'm thinking. That way I can use up all of that. So did you guys have a good weekend? I hope so. I had a lazy weekend. This was my lazy weekend. I went and walked the dogs today. And then here, um, this guy that lives around the corner from him, he was leaving, he was in his car. And he stopped me and he goes, do you walk dogs? And I said, yeah. And he asked how much I charge. And I told him. So he was like, he said, I have to leave right now, but I, I walk the same route all the time. So I walk past his house every day. Well, every time I walk the dogs. So he's like, next time I see you, we'll exchange information because I think I'm going to be interested in you. I was like, okay, which that'll be pretty cool because it's not like I'll be wasting any gas because it's like right there. So I could just like set something up for the days that I walk them, you know, walk the dogs that I walk now. And then like after I'm done then, then go walk his dog. So, yeah. Now I'm kind of like. <laughs> my semester in school starts soon and uh, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I love making grilled cheese on um Italian white bread. It just I think it turns out perfect. So good. Um, so I'm out of financial aid for my major. Um, apparently You can only take, um, you can get financial aid for like, for like so many credits towards your major. Well, I guess I hit my maximum because my major is still a radiology tech technician. Well, radiologic technology. It's a technical term. Um, so, messy. I'm trying to lean over so I don't get anything on my, um, And then I'm like, well, I could do like, A vet tech <clears throat> because then I think it would be more credits so but I did get two grants 
to cover this semester, well, part of it, but I still have a balance with the school. So I think tomorrow I'm going to look online and I may because my one class that is on campus it's the uh, organic chemistry that's a four credit course and it's on campus and I'm like if I drop that one and just take an online class I might not owe anything to the school <clears throat> you know what I mean So I have to look at all that tomorrow. I would keep the biology class because that one, I'm taking that online. But if I can just take another class online instead of going on campus for that organic chemistry, It might bring my bill down enough to where my grants will cover this semester. You know what I mean? I'm just not ready, you know, to change my major because radiology or radiologic technologist is what I want to do, but I can't right now because of my back. And then I had surgery on my left knee back in about nine years ago, eight years ago. I had a torn meniscus. So they went in and cut the torn pieces of the meniscus out. Well, last week, my knee starts bothering me again and it feels just like it did when I had the torn meniscus. So, I have a feeling more of the meniscus teared at a different location. So like my knee's swollen. I'm just getting so sick of doctor appointments Excuse me. I think I told you guys. Last time I saw my orthopedic surgeon, I think it was in June, he wanted me to do physical therapy again on my back and my neck. And then I was supposed to have the SI joint injection on my right side. And I never went. I'm just, I'm getting so sick of doctor appointments, like having to drive to doctor appointments. And like the physical therapy, I've done physical therapy twice already. It doesn't do anything. So I'm like, it's a waste of time. I know me, he know he's the one that sent me two other times. And the last time was Last year, uh, last August or last October through December, I was at physical therapy and I have to drive an hour to get there. And it's like, I don't want to be wasting my gas. It's just, it's a waste of time. So I think I have my appointment with him. I have to look, it might be sometime this month, but he's probably going to be mad because I didn't. I probably will go for the SI joint injection. I just have to call him back. But I was reading 
that when you get these um, injections, that it can make, it can damage the bone more, or it like, um, uh, what's the word I want to use? Accelerates the bone loss or something. I don't know if that's true. I'm going to have to ask him. But I'm like, I've already had two steroid injections in my lumbar spine. They don't do a darn thing. I've never had an injection in my SI joint, so I would like to see if it helps. But I get frustrated because he knows it's in both of my SI joints. And then when, they, when the place called me, they were like, he wants you to have a... Um, the steroid injection in your right SI joint. And I'm like, I'm thinking, Doc, you know it's in both. So I, I just, I'm, I'm getting frustrated and I'm just like, now my knee, I go to the same place because it's all in one building, like the same. My back doctor, he only does spines. But inside, it's like a large group, and they have like doctors that are special that specialize in knees, ones that specialize in shoulders. So I actually I looked on their website the other day because of my knee, and uh, the doctor who did my first surgery is still there. So I just have to <clears throat> let me wash my hands. So yeah, I just have to, uh, have to make an appointment, especially with, you know, walking dogs and stuff. But I don't know. I probably won't be able to walk any for a couple weeks. Yeah, that's all that's going on with me. Not much. Um, I'm stuffed. That was delicious, man. Simple, but delicious. Very, very yummy. Actually, let me squeeze over here because I went this whole time without getting anything on my... <laughs> um, after this video, I, I told you guys... There's the, that was the cat that I trapped in December. She was feral. She's come a long way. She's going to soon be going to her forever home. So I, I pretty much, I leave her out now. All the, When I'm home, she's out. But if I go away or at bedtime, she goes back up in her safe place, which is the extra bathroom upstairs. But she's doing pretty good. She. She's getting used to the house. <laughs> but yeah, um, I told you guys, was it sometime last week? That I um, got a couple things from Amazon. So I'm gonna turn this video off and save it. And then I'm gonna be back because I wanna show you guys the stuff I bought. And I've had time to try everything and I love it. So I wanna share because if you guys need any of the th I have them all sitting over here I, I got them ready if you now I did open them all and I've used them already so but I have the boxes for each thing and then I have the product sitting on the box so just in case y'all might be interested or if you need one of these items you know like if you're like looking for something I think everything I got they all had um high stars on Amazon and I like every single thing I got so I'm gonna sh I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do that video for you guys but yeah this video I'm gonna actually what time is it I think it's almost nine it might be I when so I posted a video Saturday so I can post this one tomorrow because I said I won't go more than two days without posting 
or I mean, I said that third day I will post a video, unless I post this one tonight. This video will either be posted tonight, which is Monday, or I'll post it tomorrow, which is Tuesday. All right, it depends how long it takes to get it uploaded and I wanna do this video too, so. That's all I have for you guys right now. Um, my belly is feeling nice. Oh, and I'm, I lost the rest of that weight. Remember I told you I was 0 .4, 0 0.4 away from being back to where I was. So I'm back to where I was, eight pounds total. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy about that. But I'm telling you, I think it's because I haven't had cookies. Wow. Not last, I don't think I had any cookies last week. If, if I just don't buy them, I'm okay. And it's so weird because I get on my kicks where I'll buy, like my like those pep, the Pepperidge Farms, if I can speak. Um, it's like if I eat something sweet at night, then I want it every single night. Whereas if I don't buy it, then I don't crave it. Like I might crave it for the first couple days, but after that I'm fine. Uh, it's weird. But yeah, I'm back to where I was, and I think not having the sweet cookies or the sweets helps. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat this delicious grilled ham and cheese with those different cheeses. It was amazing. Tomato soup was amazing with that coconut milk. Delicious. I, I looked back there and I thought one of the cats jumped up on the TV, but I guess not. Kind of looks like it, but I guess it's just a shadow. They were going to get yelled at. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. Thank you all so very much for watching. Oh, wait, one more thing. I'm going to try, once we hit 300 subscribers, to do that one dessert that I was going to do before. I can't tell you where, though. I tend to do desserts every 100 subscribers. So I did one at 100, did one at 200, and I think for 300, I think I'm gonna try to get that other dessert, the yummy one. It was expensive, but I know it's gonna be delicious and we have to celebrate. So that's what I'm thinking. If everything goes as planned, that should be the uh, be the plan but yeah that's all i got i hope you guys have a great evening have a great week and i'll be back with another video showing all the products in case anyone wants to buy them i'll let you know how they are and that's all i got talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys on the next one